Federal Special Warfare small boat operators must operate at high speed in rough water and they are getting hurt. Therefore, CSS has been investigating shock mitigation technology for a number of years under sponsorship of the Office of Naval Research. The sponsorship has recently been transitioned to the U.S. Special Operations Command. One of the methods we've investigated is what we call suspension seats. These are boat seats with isolation components that separate the seat from the boat deck, usually with some combination of stiffening elements and dampening elements. Examples of a stiffening element are coil and leaf springs and air springs. An example of a damping element is a shock, similar to the shocks on your car. We just completed a test of the Omen cockpit. This is a Swedish developed system for reducing injuries on high speed planing boats. And the boat behind me here is the 36 Nautica rib. That was our test platform for this test, manufactured by Nautica Marine. This boat is similar to the Naval Special Warfare ribs or the NSW ribs in, currently in service. The boat is powered by twin cap diesels and twin Hamilton jet water jets and the boat runs at up to about 38 knots. We've chosen this boat to test a particular suspension seat called the Ullman cockpit. And this particular part of the Ullman cockpit is the Ullman seat. Right now we have a uh, what we call a seat pad acceleration measurement device on the seat. So it, this is a pad that sits on top of the seat temporarily to measure the accelerations of the seat. And there's a little accelerometer uh, that's embedded within this foam right here. But this is the basic seat. And it is, as you can say, see, it's a, a saddle-shaped uh, device with built-in foam and a back. And the seat sits on a base separated from the base by a pair of leaf springs and a shock. And so you can see that the seat gives up when the boat impacts waves. Another part of the system is the footrest. Uh, there's multiple positions for the feet. Uh, the, the idea, and this is an important part of the whole concept, is when the boat becomes airborne, the operator is meant to lift up with his legs slightly raise himself using his feet several inches off of the seat so that when the boat impacts the waves, the operator absorbs a portion of the impact with his legs and then his bottom meets the seat and the seat plus shock absorber device here absorbs the remainder of the impact. So it's a two-stage uh, shock mitigation concept. Another important part of the Ullman cockpit system is the handlebar with the controls of the boat built into the handlebar. What we have here is a, uh, we have padding on the handlebar. Uh, this is temp a temporary arrangement to prevent injury in case of impact with the handlebar. On the right side, on the starboard side, we have a throttle grip which controls both throttle and buckets. In the current configuration, we control the buckets in a uh, ganged configuration and we control the throttles also ganged. We can bring the system up from the conventional steering system uh, on the boat by pressing this button, which brings the uh, which brings the Ullman system in control of the boat, and also the the handlebar, of course, provides steering of the boat um, because at the bottom of the steering column there's a linkage and push-pull cable which feeds back into the hydraulic system aft. An important part of testing a new seat concept is to test the seat in conjunction with a conventional or baseline system. In this case, we're testing the Ullman cockpit against the Stid 800-101-V4 seat. The Stid seat is, happens to be the seat that's used in the forward area of the uh, Mark V Special Operations craft. The, the concept of side-by-side -side testing is to, is to put the two seats and the operators in the same boat conditions and in the same seaway so that you can compare the relative performance between the two in a, in a manner very similar to how you might uh, purchase speakers in a store with what we offer an A-B comparison. This is not simply a test of two seats, but rather two seat control systems. The operator in each of these seats controls the boat. So if you, if you see on the port side, the Ullman seat, there's the set of handlebars for controlling the 
course of their, the direction of the boat. And on the center position, the stid seat, you notice that that operator has control of the boat through the steering wheel. In order to measure the effectiveness of seats, it's, it's important to measure the dynamics of the boat, the seat, and the human. And this is the device that we use for this test to measure the human dynamics. It's actually a kidney belt with an accelerometer mounted to the belt. You notice that the kidney belt is attached very snugly around the waist, just above the hips, so that it can accurately capture the dynamics of the lower portion of the body. Connected to this laptop computer data acquisition system are the three CSS accelerometers, one for the boat deck down here, this happens to be a three-axis accelerometer, and then one in each of the seat pads sitting here with the almond seat and the others on the stid seat. This is our eight millimeter camera mounted on the console to record the activities of the operators, their facial expressions, their arm movements, and their body motions.